Alrighty then, ladies and gents, we shall continue on with our investigation with the murder case of Mahiro Koizumi. We shall find out the absolute truth. Find out who the killer is. And, uh, let's see, I, I'm actually thinking on uh, focusing uh, quite a lot on investigating today. See if I can actually, um, if I can actually, uh, Complete it as fast as possible, who knows. Let's see. There's blood stains on the floor, and they are streaked as if she crawled through them. They're probably streaked from when Nahiru tried to run away during the attack. So, she used all her energy to crawl away, and took her last breath as she was leaning against the door. Hmm, okay. Well, we've already checked that, I think. Let's check the closet a little bit. It is open, actually. The closet door is half open. The last time I came here... That wasn't the case. That's a little suspicious. I should probably investigate inside here too. Yes, you should. Actually, it is a must. Alrighty then. We have uh, our closet over here. This is actually the first time uh, being here too. This is a pretty spacious walk-in closet. But there's so much crap on the shelves around the floor. Only one person can stand in here. But if you think about it this way, it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Hmm, indeed. Well, is there a Monokuma plushie over here? I do have to wonder about that. Hmm. No. Oh, there you go. Wow. That's yeah, really. <laughs> I wasn't even able to see that. Only if you tilt your camera all the way up you can see that, but otherwise... Um... Mm hmm that is a pretty... Huh. Well, that's a little bit... Uh... What the hell? <clears throat> I've been found. It's like there's like no uh, ceiling over there. It's just darkness over there all the way up there. Well, that's just not fair. That isn't... Uh... That is not... Uh... Realistic, if you were to hide a Monokuma plushie. Jesus Christ, okay. Well, I'm glad that I actually found that on first try. Uh, shelves. Flotation devices, snorkels, nets. There's also some paint supplies, too. Flotation devices, snorkels, nets. There's also some paint supplies, too. Okay, let me just rem try to remember that. There's not much else that could be related to the incident. Okay. Uh, what about this? A gummy! Huh. There's something on the floor. Yeah, it is a gummy. A gummy bear. This yellow thing is a gummy candy. Finding candy on the floor in a place like this is clearly unnatural. If it's connected to the incident, did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? Hmm. It does make me think of a particular somebody, but... Shelves? <clears throat> There's a lot of stuff jammed onto the shelves, even surfboards in a surfboard case. But they're not put away properly at all. Two boards are stuffed onto one shelf. And some boards have been left out instead of being put in the case. And there's also an empty surfboard case as well. Jeez, how careless. Mm, I guess that's everything inside the closet. I guess I finished investigating all I can. Okay. Judge, just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like I should try investigating that again to find out why Mahiro got killed. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Girl E was killed in that game by a single blow from Metal Bat. Metal Bat. That's the same weapon that was used to kill Mahiro. That... There's no way that's just a coincidence, right? No, it's definitely not a coincidence. However... It does make you question... Why would the killer use the same weapon as the one in the murder case in the Twilight Syndrome? 
I think I've actually talked about this before, <clears throat> that if you were to use the same method as in the Twilight Syndrome, that also brings a clue in itself, because the murderer played the twi played Twilight Syndrome as well. Or there could be another possibility that maybe somebody played the game, knows how Girl E got killed, and made somebody else kill Mahiro to make it look like it was like in the Twilight Syndrome, when the one that got the one that killed Mahiro didn't even play the game in the first place, like some sort of a manipulation type thing. But I don't know about that one yet. Intro, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. A missing link. If that's the killer's motive for the killing this time, then that mystery must be hidden inside that game. Plus, the person who might know about that mystery is standing right next to me. Yeah, that is true. I think she did play all the way through. I should ask her about it. Yep, I guess we shall definitely ask her about, her about that right now. Like, immediately, like right now. <clears throat> See what she has to say. Hey Chucky, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Um, Are you done investigating here already? Huh? I think I finished investigating once photo, once, once through. Yep. Then let's go. You could go? Where? You want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? And I think you should actually play it yourself. Let's go. So, let's go. Yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> I guess you already know. <clears throat> With Chucky leading, I left the beach house and headed over to Jebor Park, where that unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never... I never expected that person to be waiting there. Wait, who? Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. What? You escaped? God dang it. Oh, I know my, I know, uh, and I was feeling so great without you around, Nagito. Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Nagito? Okay. Answer me this, Nagito. How did you end up escape? Did you end up es escaping yourself? Or was it somebody that helped you? In that case, why did that person help you? It feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you two like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why? Why are you here? Well, there's no need to worry about a loser like me. More importantly, did you hear? Apparently Mahiro got killed this time. Mm-hmm, indeed. Jeez, how horrible. She was the heart of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed, if only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. I'm sure you would. Amazing. But still, you guys will be able to shine because this outcome is full of despair, right? That's right. No matter how dark the despair, hope can shine much brighter and stronger. <laughs> Though I do feel bad for Mahiro. This is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome despair this time? Looks like you feel no remorse. Jeez, as usual. He's acting so crazy, he's almost pissing me off. Hmm. Well... Well, the good... Well, a question that I'm really worried about right now is... When did he escape? And how? If, um, if Nagito escaped before the murder of Mahiru... Then I'm really worried over here, ladies and gents. And I... I'm gonna feel a little bit angry about that. But if he escaped... After... Mahiru's death, then at least he didn't uh, he didn't have anything to do with the murder of Mahiru. 
if that's the case. I hope. So why are you here? Who told you about Maku? Now, now. now, now, you don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you, you know. Monami. It's Monami. Yes, it was me. <sighs> Monami, couldn't you've just, like, you know, left Nagito tied up till the class show? Just a little bit longer, a little bit. Just saying. You, why did you untie Nagito without anyone's permission? Um, I know, man. I just wanted everyone to get along and, you know, cooperate. There's no way we'll get along. You already know what kind of guy he is. What? Running among friends is what Monokuma wants you guys to know. You know what? I'm not gonna argue about that. I'm not gonna argue anymore. Just let's just go with this. No, no. Nagito is freed up. Let's not talk about this anymore. Let's continue investigating. I don't wanna. <sighs> Ajime, you should forgive her. Monomi is making a valid point too. You have no right to say that. But now is not time for friends to fight. There's going to be a class trial for Mahiro, right? That's right. That's right. That's why everyone must work together and have Monokuma. Enough. Enough already. Just go away already. Well, Hajime has all the right to be angry at this. Nakito, you too. Hurry up and get lost. Man. And here's something that I have to say, Nagito. Just just try to find out who the killer is. Just don't Don't influence anything, right? Come on, guy. Like, a kill- a killing happened. You cannot get killed anymore. At this point, so... Just don't do anything stupid, come on! <laughs> oh, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's really no reason for me to be here. True ending? Now then. So, although I might be a little late, I too will do some investigating for a while. I'll try to be useful, in my own way. Hmm. Well, you see, that's the problem. You're trying to be useful in your own way. That's the... <laughs> okay. Who do you want to be useful to? The killer or us? <laughs> yeah, that is a good question, Hajime. Like, Nagito. Isn't that obvious? I'll always be on the side of hope. <sighs> okay, well, there's no denying that. He will do some stupid shit in the class trial. He will be on the side of, uh, of the killer. After that, he will be on the side of um, of us, like the others that are not the killer. I think that we should focus on investigating. Let's just let's just try our best not to get screwed up by Nagito. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. If he didn't exist, this situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it! Hey, hey. Okay, well, let's uh, let's play Twilight Syndrome. Hajime, let's just move on and start the game. Mm, Alright. Alright, then, Chiaki. Can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? <laughs> a walkthrough? Huh? Yeah? I feel like I'm just going to repeat the second day. And fourth day again. And then get a game over. So if there's a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? Well, when you get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Huh? What do you mean? Want me to tell you? Do you want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? See? You should have seen it too. You know, that thing that was displayed on the game over screen. Is that... Uh... Down 5? Are you talking about the message that says down five? That's right. Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down five drinks or something. It means you have to press down five times. Oh. Then the hidden command is. Yep. You just have to press the down button five times when you're on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. So that's the trick. Just as expected of the Ultimate Gamer. No, 
It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just... You either get it or you don't. I mean, that's right. I mean, if we're talking about that sort of trick, Nagido got it too. He did do that too. It's not just Chiaki. Me personally, I didn't get it. And I've played my fair share of games throughout my entire life. In fact, Nagida got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Yeah, that is right. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. Alright, well, let's do this again. Honestly... Hmm. Okay. In the name of the murder case, we shall play through this again. For this game again. Even though... Hmm. It doesn't feel like such a great game to me, though. I don't know. It just feels too easy. I need to press down five times on the tile screen. Alright, let's do this. Open the new door to Twilight Syndrome murder case. You please press down five times with your own hands. Oh, okay. So I guess I'm, I'm supposed to be the one to do this, okay? One, two, three, four, five! Oh! Twilight Syndrome murder case! The truth edition! The screen changed. She was right. Yep. This is the real game. Twilight Cinder Murder Cases Truth Edition. I should start it up. I need to find out why this is a motive. It will start if I press the escape key, right? Now then, let's begin Twilight Cinder Murder Case. Please press the escape key with your own hands. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Of course, it doesn't work. I'm pressing the escape... Wait, actually... Is it the backspace? No. Not that, not that, not that. Ah, oh, it was just left click, of course. What the fuck, game? We opened with a specific murder case. A tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that the incident was the work of a pervert who snuck into the school grounds, aka Turturu. However, there was a secret behind that incident. Even before the janitor first discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime scene itself. Unless it was Ajme, the students were five high school g high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were the first to discover it. However, the tragedy befell those girls several days after the incident. Okay, I'm not gonna read this. It just goes way too fast. When the world happened at this one spot? Okay, so we're gonna be playing the first day and the third day. Before we played the second day and the fourth day. Let's start with the first day. Alright. So last time we played the second day. And we met the girls in the classroom. And talked about uh, a murder. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Jeez, we're gonna go late because we had to wait for a slip of the girl A. Okay. It's I'm gonna have to come with voices again, because I don't remember. <laughs> I know that somebody who had the Ibuki's voice. Come on, girl B, you don't have to be that mad. Hey, don't go taking photos without permission. People might mistake for us, us for good friends. <laughs> what? I'm not your friend? What? There's no way I'd ever be friends with a nasty, trashy pig shit like you. The way girl B treats people, you will know sure. Wait a second. Huh. Very interesting. Even lone sharks looking to collect would get sick to their stomachs. Huh? Is girl E here yet? Apparently she forgot something. She told us to wait just a little longer. She can't find her school swimsuit. Wait, was it? Oh man, I cannot read the, the transcript over here. It doesn't have such a thing. Her swimsuit, huh? Maybe it got stolen? Stolen? Okay, I'm just... I'm just throwing random voices over here now. You don't know? A pervert has been spotted in her area recently. Okay, you should be super careful, guy. A chippy weakling like you makes the perfect prey. Hey, stop it. Girl is getting... Hey, stop it. Girl A is getting really scared. <laughs> it's fun to bully girl A. Hmm. Well, what was that sound? It sounded like glass breaking. 
It's not like it came from second floor. Let's go. Uh, second floor, you say? Okay, I guess we shall go. <laughs> uh, Ikoroshia slash homicide. Hi, it's Gori. Gori, what happened? I don't know. I walked by the front of the music room just now. And then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is is someone in there? That's what I think, but I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. You're right. It's locked. Did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? Um, if we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open this door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge and get the key to the music room. The teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in a secret. But I have a bad feeling about this. Yep. I found the key. Nobody was there, so it was super easy to get. Then let's open it right away. Alright. Let's see what's going on there. Carley, you lead the way. Carley, you lead the way! Huh? Me? Come on, hurry, hurry! Uh, okay, uh, so I guess we shall uh, see... Let's, let's go inside. Oh boy. Let's see what's going on over here. Uh, oh my lord. No! Someone's laying on the floor. This... She's not laying down. She's dead. D dead? That's impossible. Why? <laughs> now hear your voice. You might still be nearby. Nearby? I mean, this. Looks like someone murdered her. Murdered? Huh? Seriously, shut up! What's gonna happen if the killer notices us? What should we do? What should I do? Hmm... Well, it's time for investigating! Ah, uh, just kidding. <laughs> I don't think that we're gonna be doing any investigate. Are we gonna do some investigating here too? Jesus Christ! We're actually gonna be doing two investigating things over here? I see, so that's what happened. I found it. The killer's escape route. Escape route. Could it be... Could it be this? Ah, the window's broken. The sound we heard from the entrance hall was probably the window breaking. Someone probably locked the music room door from the inside. And they're killing this girl. They broke the window and escaped outside. Hmm. Is it that easy, though? I mean, it kind of depends. We are on second floor right now. Looks like she got hit by something when she died. But I can't, to, I can't seem to find anything bloody here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So... The killer just ran out of the, uh, ran out the window? But if they just wanted to run away, the killer opened the window. Why did they have to break it? You know, that is a legit good question. It kind of makes you think, don't you think? Was it actually an escape route? Hmm... Unless it was some sort of a flying monster that came in and just exited out the same way. Yeah. They were probably trying to leave in a hurry. Looks like there's evidence. The fish tank by the window is tipped over and all the gravel is scattered. They must have accidentally tripped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. Hmm. True what? Broken fish tank. Hmm. It's not too high to jump from the second floor, so maybe they thought it'd be safer than using the hallway. But is that really it? I mean, to lock the door, you would have to either lock it from inside the music room, or use the lounge key. Yeah, that is true. Oh, when I went to get the music room key, it was in the teacher's lounge. So the killer wouldn't have had the time to return the key before they broke the window. Yeah, I mean, it was recent after all, like right now, right? 
Then the door could have been locked from the inside. That means the killer was inside the music room. Also, to get outside from the music room, they need to have passed up by us in their answers hall. But we didn't see anyone pass by. Huh. Which means the killer's only escape route was this window. You are bringing some good points over here. It's probably that pervert I heard about. He's the one who snuck inside the school grounds. Huh? My school swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then, the pervert who stole girl E's school swimsuit also murdered that girl over there? They probably locked the music room so they could rape her, but she ended up resisting. So, they frantically tried to get away, broke the window and escaped? This actually feels a little bit more difficult than uh, Mahiru's case. Just a little bit, I don't know. Isn't it? Well, especially since uh, we have all those girls uh, with... I mean, really? Couldn't you just give uh, them, like, normal girl names? Do you have to name them, like, girl A, girl B, girl C? It makes it more difficult for me to, to think about who said what and who said who. I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this, and the killer might still be around, too. That's bad! You were bad! We better hurry up and run! But, don't we have to report this to the police? Don't you want what happens when they report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime suspect just because you found the body first. I definitely don't want that. Well, you don't want to hide that either! What if you found out if you... If you knew about the uh, about the dead body, if you are found out by the police, you would, be, you would be even more of a suspect. Yeah, it'd be best if we left this room how we found it. Just lock the door, leave everything how it was. Um. Uh, hmm. uh, hey, please wait. Don't leave me here. Okay, so girl D is left. Hmm. Okay, third day. Gaudi! Sorry, did I make you wait? So what's up? You asked me to meet here. Don't tell me you're gonna confess your love to me. <laughs> huh? What happened? Um, I want you to look at this photo. On the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next door classroom as I was going home. Wait, next door classroom? I can help taking a picture. What do you think these broken vase pieces mean? That sound we heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of a window breaking. What? What is this? I... I don't know anything about this vase. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. Seriously, I don't know anything. Uh-oh. What is this? It's okay, I made sure to throw it away. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, girlie? Uh, are you trying to blackmail me? Whoa! Of course not, that's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? You... You didn't say anything either. I, I knew, you know, I knew that girl who got killed was... Tormenting you? Huh? No, she wasn't just tormenting you. She was seriously making your life a living hell. That bitch was in your photography club back in middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she... I'm supposed to be your best friend. If you told me, none of this would have happened. Kao Yi, don't tell me you... That bitch... Thought she could do anything she wanted because of her family's influence. And I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, at first, I tried to talk to her. But that bitch started talking of shit about how she'd target me next time, so... 
I felt a sudden rage. And before I knew it, I was choking her. And then she lost consciousness. But things would have been worse if she woke up. So that's why I had to do something about it. That's... Hmm. It's not my fault. Or yours. It's all her fault. Uh, go E! That bitch. Girl E, was it? Or did she was with her on the day of the incident? Looks like she threw something away here. What was it? What the hell is this photo? This face is... Could it be the sound of breaking glass? Was it actually this? If it wasn't... Why did she try to secretly get rid of this? That bitch. What the hell did she do to my little sister? Oh! Looks like I need to ask her a few questions, and if that bitch really did that, I will never, will never forgive her. Game clear! Hey, hey, hey! Hmm. Hmm. Looks like this is the end. That's right. That's the truth edition. The incidents. First day and third day are depicted in it. Yep. Yep. Now you filled in all four events from the first day to the fourth day. Hey, Chucky, what do you think of the characters in this game? Um. You mean like girl A and girl B? Their names make no sense and they have no romantic chemistry either. <laughs> no, not that. I... See? While you were talking, looks like the ending staff role, role started. Staff role? You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it properly. What I want to know is on this staff role. Well, let's see. Producer Monokuma, director Monok, <laughs> supervisor Monokuma, plan scenario Monokuma, programmer Monokuma. <laughs> is ever is everything gonna be made by like everything is made by Monokuma? Even the sound. The cast is. Oh, I fucking knew it. Tsumiki, Koizumi, Hyoko, Miyoda, Sato, Kuzuryu, and Kuzuryu. Wait. Kuzuryu. What? Ah! That guy's little sister. Huh. Well, I had a feeling that the girls in Twilight Syndrome resembled some girls that we knew. Like Hibuki, Hyoko, even Mahiro. Like one of the girls was uh, into photography and all that. But this actually is interesting just now. See, See? didn't I tell you? What do you want to know is going to be on there? Miracle! Miracle! Congrats! Miracle, congratulations! You have finally beaten Twilight Cinder Murder Case! <laughs> None of the guys have played this game through to the end, you should already know. That's right, that game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past incident. Duh! <laughs> on an actual past incident, you say- oh god. Oh my god! Is that true? By the way, By the way non-fiction means an original story based on a historical fact or records. records. Hey, answer my question, goddammit! But even if this is non-fiction, you guys probably don't remember it. Well, that can be hell. <laughs> the school life you no longer remember is the setting for this story. Our school life. Isn't that At any rate, congratulations. Now, as for the ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for playing the game, I won't give it to you. 
Oh. Oh, come on, Monokuma. I mean, I played through this game. There was no case to solve inside the game. We're gonna have to solve it ourselves, but... Oh, come on. Just give me something. Ending prize, you say? There was only one ending prize. Now he gave it to the first person who beat it. I see. <laughs> How disappointing. Did you say ending prize? Like, I was told the same thing when I beat it too. And it was too late. If I known something like this was gonna happen, I would have played the game sooner. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, would you look at that, ladies and gents. The ending prize. Hmm. But the ending prize isn't a problem. It's what Monokuma said earlier. He mentioned how he used our school life as the setting of the game. That could be true. In that case, there could be more to this than just Mahiru's murder. Hmm. Just as I thought. So it's connected to that, to that this time too. But is it really, is it really true? We were already living our school lives, and our memories were completely taken. Is something that crazy actually possible? Then, what did they do to us? You. It looks like there's something on your mind, huh? Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who's beaten this game. That this game is not fiction. That it's the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. So, do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about that right now, we gotta focus on solving this mystery first. Whether we really believe it's the motive or not, it's clear that a murder did occur. If that's the case, then I need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. Um. You're talking about the people whose characters appear in the game, in the game, right? Then I go too. Mm, that's right. If I get some information from them, I might find out about something. About the mystery behind Mahiu's death. About whether this game is true or not. And if we really had our school memories taken away, hey, hey. then let's hurry and ask the others. And while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in the game. Leave it to me. Oh, it must feel pretty special. Except for the fact that we're talking about a murder case over here. In that case, I don't know. I don't know how I would feel if my if I were inside a game and my character just died and all that. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that one. Ah, also, if you want to gather your thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me anytime. I see. Oh, thanks. That's a huge help, Chucky. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. Alright, let's go. Well, I do have to wonder, am I actually Hello able there. to... Hello there, Nagato. Well, I was about to say something over here, until you showed up. Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. We meet again. Oh, the timing is still perfect. You were waiting here, weren't you? You caught me? Ah, so you caught me? Wouldn't it be best if we travel together? If you've beaten the game, we must think similarly, right? We must think similarly, eh? Man. No, maybe I'm being a little too conceited. A guy like me thinking similarly to you guys. Hey, it's okay, just make your point. There was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Them? You don't know? Why, the characters who appeared in Twilight Cinder Murder Case, of course. The girl must be busy with their investiga the girls must be busy with their investigations too. It'd be a waste of time if we both questioned them, no? Hmm. Wait, what did you say? It'd be a waste of time if we both questioned them, no? What, if we didn't, uh, if we didn't, uh, 
tell them to meet to at the airport? Bye now. If you want to hear what they have to say, you should come with me. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. Mm, what should we do? Mm, I guess the only thing we can do is go. I guess you're right. Mm. I do have to wonder what is Nagito thinking right over here. Like, is he actually trying to help us? Like, try to solve the case? Well, probably. He, he is trying to help us solve the case by making it easier on us by meeting all the girls in the airport. But, again, is there a meaning behind this? Is there something else that, about Nagito that we don't know of? Is, he, is Nagito planning something? I just... I don't know. Like, like, throughout this game, I'm always gonna have to... to ask questions like this. Because I'm always ha gonna have to keep my eyes on Nagito and all that, but... Okay, well, let's go to... to the airport in... Um, on the first island and see about some stuff. Chucky? Hey Chucky, can you give me a summary of that game? Yep. Oh shit. Oh no, we're gonna have to go through this, for this whole thing. A summary of Twilight Sy Syndrome murder case, right? First, the characters who appear in it are high school girls Okay, well, I'm actually gonna um, end the episode right over here, because I feel like my chest is burning right here. It's because I've been uh, using uh, voices for such an extended period of time, and I'm a little bit tired. I'm using quite a lot of energy and, and all that, so I'm gonna end the episode right over here. And I'm gonna continue the episode, I'm gonna continue in a completely different day. For right now, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and have some sleep and all that, so... I guess next time when we start the episode, we're gonna have the complete summary of uh, the Twilight Cinder murder case, because... Uh, I wanted to say something before Nagito showed up, before he interrupted me. I wanted to say that I wonder if we can actually play Twilight Cinder murder case again from day 1 to day 4 again in my spare time like in chronological order that way i might have like a like a better understanding of the murder case cuz right now it feels a little bit confusing but at the same time it did reveal some interesting points here about this whole twilight syndrome case relating to our own case over here hmm but anyway, I guess we shall end the episode out here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!